In this tutorial, we'll look at the extrude and loft commands. So let's go ahead and start by making a curve. And I'll just type in curve. And then let's make a, another curve. And then we'll move this curve vertically. So I can just select that curve, make sure my gumball's on, and just drag that up. Great. Okay, so to make an extrusion, we can just select a curve and type extrude. And then you'll see that you can either do it visually on the screen. I could actually snap to this other curve if I wanted to match the distance between those curves. Or you can type in a value um, if you just start typing. So let's say 20. You can see it then will extrude um, 20 inches in this case. Um, the other thing you could do is extrude in a direction. So let's say I have a line that connects from that point to that point and then I can actually move this point around. Let's say I want to extrude the surface in the direction of that line. You can type in extrude and then choose direction and then select the endpoints of that line and it will extrude in that direction. Again you could snap to the end of that line or you could type in a dimension. You can also extrude in both directions if you check both sides. So the other thing you can do, let's say I have these two curves which are different from each other and I want a surface to bridge those two curves. That's called a loft. So to make a loft, and you can do this with more than two shapes, it could be a series of you know three or more shapes. But in this case I have two, so I'm going to type in loft. You can see it then creates a surface between those two curves. Um, when you do that, you'll get a loft option dialog box. There's a few different styles. Uh, by default mine straight sections but you can change it to normal and this won't have a huge difference um, on a uh, loft that's this simple but you'll be able to see if you have more complex lofts especially lofts with two or three or more shapes the difference between these different types here um, if your curves are not aligned which sometimes happens it can look like this so this would be point one and that's point one so it's starting there and then it's it's um, kind of rotating the loft between those lines. If that happens, you just have to hit Align Curves and then select one of the points and make sure that they're um, adjusted correctly. When you're done, hit Enter. And when you're happy with that, say OK. And then you have a loft object.